<clears throat> Welcome to how to make infinite chests in Minecraft. So everyone, welcome back to a new tutorial. My name is Mr. Ikeprof and today I'll show you how to create different infinite containers. Now, as you can see right here, we've got a large variety around us, ranging from infinite containers next to a wall to double chest infinite container next to a wall and a trap chest on top of a floor. But let me go over each and every one in full detail. Now let's start off with the most simple design we have over here, which is the container next to a wall design. And it can use any container that gives off a redstone comparator output like this. And let me show you how this works. So basically we've got our chest or container in front. And when we take out items, we get kicked out of the chest and the chest will get refilled. So when we empty out this chest, this comparator will turn off, making this redstone torch turn on, and that redstone torch will activate our command block, which will clone this back chest all the way to the front over here. Now this is extremely simple, and as you can see, when we fill out some extra things into our chest and go into the front, empty it out again and open it up, you can see that it clearly works. Now you can put any items into these containers that you'd like and all of the other containers are using the same redstone and command block mechanics as well. Now over here we've got a infinite brewing stand and when we get rid of the potions it will be refilled automatically from this back brewing stand because the command block clones the back brewing stand to the front and all of the other containers work as well in the same way. Now on this side we've got a double chest setup. This one is a little bit more complicated because of the cloning command but I will explain that in detail once I get to the tutorial part. And of course when I get rid of all of the items, which says of course subscribe, I get kicked out of the chest as well and it works. And from the redstoning point of view it is exactly the same as this one right here. Now the last two designs are trap chests only and they can be placed on top of any floor and we can create the redstone mechanics underneath the floor like this. And it can only be used with a trap chest and not any other container because trap chests give off redstone through a block like this. And it works also a little different than all of the other wall containers, meaning that when we get rid of all of the items we won't get kicked out of the chest automatically. And when we close off the chest, only then will the items be put back into the chest. So without further ado, let's start off with the first design which is right behind me, the single container wall design. Now what you need for this design is a chest or any other container that gives us a redstone output. Uh, you need a wall block behind the container. Then we need a redstone comparator, a another block, a redstone torch, a command block and another chest. Now this can only be done on worlds with cheats on or on servers where command blocks have been turned on and where you are an OP, so you can give yourself a command block. Now if for some reason you've built this on your server and it doesn't work, then you want to go into your server properties file and check if command blocks have been turned on so that command blocks can be used on your server, otherwise it will not work. Anyway, let's start off the wall design by giving ourselves a command block, so type in slash give at p command block and use tab to autofill the suggested like this. Then we are going to place down a chest and then the wall behind there like this. We are going to place down a redstone comparator next to the chest next to the wall. And then we are going to place on another block, a redstone torch, a command block in here. And then finally to top it off we are going to place down a chest like so. Now one thing to keep in mind when placing down a chest next to this command block over here is that the orientation stays the same. So as you can see this lock is facing the sun and when we go over to the front you can see that this lock is also facing the sun. So that means when this chest in the back gets copied in front to the front here, everything will stay in the same orientation. So the next thing we are going to do is to hover over the back chest and then we are going to type in slash clone spacebar and then use tab space tab space tab to fill in the auto suggested and then do this another time and then hit enter and as you can see you will get a unknown or incomplete command because it's incomplete now we are going to go to the front chest to complete this command so hover over the front chest press t arrow up space and then you can see we've got another coordinate in here and then use tab again to auto fill and when we press enter you can see it says successfully cloned one block. Now press T arrow up once more and then control A, control C to copy the command. 
And if you're playing on Mac, then you can use Command A and Command C to copy the command. Now go over to your command block and then Control V it in place and then hit done. Now we are going to go into our back chest and fill it up with any item we like, like this. I'm going to create a little pattern like so. Then go over into our front chest and open it up and we are going to kickstart the mechanism because right now it's still empty. So place down one item into our chest and then remove it right away. And you will get kicked out of the chest and once we open it up, it will be filled up automatically. Now you can always edit the back chest later on to anything you'd like. And then the only thing we have to do is to get rid of all of the items in the chest and you got kicked out again. And as you can see, the chest has now been updated. And of course, don't forget, you can use it with any container that you like. Now the next design we are going to place down is our double chest design. So place down your double chest and a wall behind there. Then we are going to place down a redstone comparator. It doesn't matter where it is, as long as it's next to a block that is directly next to a chest. Then place down another block, another redstone torch, a command block, and then another double chest in the back like this. Hover over one of the back chests and type in slash clone, space, tap, tap, tap. Now we are going to hit enter already. Go over to the other chest, press T, arrow up, space, and then use tab, tab, tab again, and then hit enter once more. Then go over to your front chest, and it can be either one, so you press T, arrow up, space, tab, 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 enter, and we are going to verify if the cloning has been done successfully. And as you can see, it is not done successfully, because we want this double chest to be one block over to the left. So what we are going to do is hover over to the chest on the left instead, Press T, double arrow up, so twice, and then space, and then tap, tap, tap again. And as you can see, the chest is now in its right orientation. Now this is the command we are going to copy, so T, arrow up, Ctrl A, Ctrl C, go over into our command block, Ctrl V, hit done, go over into our back chest and fill it in with anything you'd like again. Go over into our front chest, place down one item, remove it, and as you can see, everything is now correctly set up. So the next design is going to be the single chest on the floor. Now the first thing we are going to do is to place down a trapped chest in here instead of a normal chest. So definitely make sure that you've placed down a trapped chest. Otherwise you'll probably be wondering why it isn't working after half an hour trying to troubleshoot your build. And a trapped chest is definitely going to solve that. Anyway, let's go down two blocks by placing down a block like this. Destroy the middle one. Place down a redstone dust on top. Go to the back, place down a redstone torch, place down a command block below there. And then we are going to place down another trap chest, of course facing in the same orientation as the trap chest on the top. So then go to our back chest again and type slash clone, space, tap, 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 space, tap, 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 hit enter, go to our front chest on the top, press T, arrow up, space, tap, 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 enter, and as you can see the cloning is now correct. Press T, arrow up, control A, control C. Go to our command block, Control V, hit done. Fill in the back chest with anything you'd like. Go over to the top chest, open it up once, close it down, and as you can see, it's been filled up. And once we close it up and open it up again, it will be filled up automatically once more. Now the last design is the double chest floor design, and as you might imagine, it's very similar to the single chest floor design, and that is because it is actually the same, but the only difference is, is that one has got two chests and the other one has got one. So let's place down our double chest like this, make sure that they trap chest once more, then go down two blocks, and then place down a redstone dust, place down a redstone torch on the bottom, a command block in here, then place down a trap chest next to your command block, of course, in the same orientation as the chest on the top. Then we are going to type in slash clone, space, tap, 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 hit enter, go over to the other chest, T, arrow up, space, tap, 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 enter, go over to the chest on the top, T, arrow up, space, tap, 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 enter, and as you can see, the cloning is now correct. If your cloning is one block to the left, like this, for example, then go over to the other chest, like this, do T, arrow up twice, space, tap, 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 and then hit enter, and then you will see that the chest will be placed in the right place. Now, T, arrow up again, Control A, Control C, go over to our command block, Control V, done. Go over into our back chest right here and fill it up with anything you'd like once more. 
Go over to the chest on the top, open it up, close it down, and as you can see, the cloning is now successful. The last thing to do is to place it down into a place where you want it. For example, on your server. This is my test server, the IQ community server. The best server ever. And there's free loot down below, so open it up and hi! There you go, we've got a chest full of stuff like this. And it is working extremely well. And for those who have come from the previous Infinite Chest tutorial, well, this is the better version you're watching right now. And the previous one was total ass, so I decided to make a new one because the last one was outdated and not very good instead. And hey, it looks like someone joined over here. Hello? Well, anyway, ladies and gentlemen, thank you for watching. My name is Bean Mr. Ikepro. I hope this tutorial was useful and you can use it in your Minecraft world. My name is Bean Mr. Ikepro, and I'll see you in another video. Bye bye.